Gen Z nostalgia. Somebody who grew up in Gen Z, I just had to cover this topic extensively on my channel. I've made videos about 2000s and 2010s nostalgia. And for those of you in Gen Z, y'all are gonna fuck with this shit heavy. I'm ranking almost anything you can think of. I picked five different categories. Snacks, video games, toys, books, and cartoons. And at the end, I'm gonna see which category is truly the best. Okay, why the fuck did I say category? Of course we had to start here. I mean, where else will we start? There are so many memorable video games from childhood, and there's a bunch that I still play to this day. Wii Sports S tier. I mean, this has got to be the most iconic game of Gen Z. When people think Gen Z nostalgia, they think Wii Sports. Everybody's played this game. Even your Uncle Billy at the family function. Hey, kiddo, how the f*** do you work this thing? The Wii was pretty much like a space gadget to your family. Like, nobody knew how to use it. Everybody would also want to play Mario Kart. Mario games, S tier. Wait, never mind, A. Mario Kart is a staple to racing games. Everybody still plays Mario Kart today. All you gotta do is say one sentence. I bet I could beat you in Mario Kart. And the rest is history, just like that, your homie. Pokemon, A tier. Only reason I put in an S, you have to spend so many grueling hours training your Pokemon. I had Heart Gold, White, and Pearl. Absolute classics. Probably some of the best games I've ever played. Call of Duty. I don't know where to put it. Before I get crucified in the comments, listen. I wasn't allowed to play Call of Duty as a kid. And I never understood the game, so it was probably a good thing. I did play at my cousin's house one time. He told me to leave the mic on the floor because the game chat was just so bad. They were raging at me because I sucked total ass. What, are you got a six-pack of Miller in you, dude? What the fuck? Yeah, I was a stupid ass kid. So clearly I was not ready for all that. Subway Surfers was more my speed. B tier. I wasn't into this game for too, too long, but when I was locked in, I was locked in. Clash of Clans, A tier. Once you get further into the game, it costs you an arm and a leg to upgrade shit, unless you want to buy gems. And trust me, I fell down that rabbit hole shortly after. It was the most pay to win shit ever. The rich ass kid at school would come in, maxed out base. He would flex how many gems he had. Oh yeah, it's some slight, 5,000. I just didn't understand it. Just like Minecraft. B tier. I was stupid as hell, like I said, so I didn't understand the game. But I was a demon in creative mode, trust me. I was building mad mansions in creative. I don't know how many of you did this. Cool math games, S. Cool math games have got me through so much tough times in school, just sitting there bored as hell. Then I would just play Duck's Life or Run 3, and everything was all good. And the Papa's games, bro. You can't forget those. Club Penguin, A tier. Although I really didn't play it too much, I revisited Club Penguin in 2018 when everyone was freaking out about it shutting down and i was just f around on it with my homies and it held up really well flappy bird d tier this game was overhyped as hell everybody was flexing their high score but in my personal opinion i just thought it was boring as hell and i would just rage at it all the time skylanders c tier now don't get me wrong skylanders the game itself is good but the fact that you gotta buy so many goddamn skylanders pissed me off i was running my parents dry for their money because i wanted all the skylanders they were like 30 40 bucks a piece i had an allowance but i I spent it on toys. Now, I had so many toys growing up, and if I were to sit here and just list them all, we would be here all day. So let's just start with Razor Scooters, A tier. Everybody was whipping around the block with these. The only thing I hate about Razor Scooters is when you try to spin it around and then it hits your ankle. That John probably did permanent damage to my ankle. The Wubble Bubble Ball, F tier. My brother and I were so hyped when we got this thing, and we had high expectations for it. Just for it to shit the bed five minutes later. Just pure disappointment. Legos, B tier. Now, I would rage at Legos. I would look at the manual and proceed to royally f*** it up. I would get so mad that I would just break the pieces. And stepping on them was the worst pain ever. I would have them scattered all over my floor. The one by one Lego piece was my biggest up. Uh, Furbies, D tier. I don't like how this thing is looking at me, bro. It's just creepy as hell. A friend of mine had a Furby and it was just so creepy just watching it just stare me down, look at me in the eye. Play-Doh, C tier. The f*** do you do with Play-Doh? Seriously. The amount of intrusive thoughts I've had about eating Play-Doh is crazy. That might have just been me, I'm not gonna lie. Beyblades, S tier. Beyblades were crazy. Everybody was having battles with them at school. We were betting on people. It was getting serious. It was just how everything was settled. Pillow Pets. S tier. Some of them were not only pillows, some of them could also project like starry lights in your room. That shit was cool as fuck. My kid self was mesmerized by the technology of these things. The Magic Fushigi Ball. 
F tier. Yeah. I remember seeing a commercial for this all the time, and I just knew in the back of my mind it was a scam. Even as a kid, they were advertising it as, oh my god, guys, look, it can float. Even though it was just a regular ass ball. Mr. Potato Head, C tier. I mean, what the hell do you even do with this thing? I was just so bored sometimes, I would make the most mutant looking potatoes ever. I know, I was a fucking airhead. Silly Bands, B tier. They were icy as shit back in the day, especially the glow in the dark ones. Nerf guns, S tier. The Nerf Wars went crazy. Crazy. I had this shitty ass Nerf pistol. I wasn't going anywhere with that. Meanwhile, my friend at the time had a whole arsenal of Nerf guns. It was a little concerning. I got my ass whooped by Nerf bullets. Then after all those shenanigans, you know, we'd go inside, take a break to eat snacks. There were some banger food and snacks back in the day. Let's start with Dino Nuggets. Absolute classic, S tier. I'm pretty sure half my childhood dinners were Kraft Mac and Cheese and Dino Nuggets. They could have asked me on death row like, hey, what's your last meal? I would have said Dino Nuggets and Kraft Mac and Cheese. Those frosted animal cookies, S tier. This was like crack to my younger self. I remember we used to buy these big ass containers of them. I would somehow go through like half of one in a day. Yeah, they gave me a lean gut, but they were still good as hell. Twinkies, S I never really liked Twinkies. I don't know why. Especially these Shrek Twinkies. It just looks bad. Scooby Snacks. We got another S tier on our hands. They were just good as hell, bro. They never missed. And I also had the Scooby-Doo gummies. Those were crazy too. Fruit by the foot. C tier. It was a whole process to eat. Like, you gotta unravel the damn thing, then you can eat it. Whenever I was hungry as hell in school and I needed a snack to clutch up, my mom would always pack me fruit by the foot. And it did not clutch up at all. Lunchables, D tier. The cold pizzas are ass, bro. I don't know why people are gassing these things up. And especially the cold chicken nuggets. Yeah, these are just garbage. Some people would voluntarily eat these at home. Like, bro, you have so many better options. Eat dino nuggets instead. Danimals, A tier. They hit, but I would literally just slurp the damn thing down in like a millisecond. All right, pause. What the f was that? Nilla, S tier. Absolute goaded wafers. My parents introduced me to no wafers when I was three, and sometimes I still eat them today, bro, because they're just that good. Cheese puffs, F tier. I don't know. I just can't get behind cheese puffs, cheese balls, Cheetos. Like, I don't know. I don't like them. I used to, though. There was one day I had a shit ton of these, bro. I was fat as hell. Trust me, man. I was bulking. That's definitely why. A couple hours later, I just started puking everywhere. And then after that, I just got sick to my stomach looking at them because it would instantly trigger thoughts of all that cheese cheese dust I threw up. Ugh. Cosmic brownies, S tier. I mean, most Lil Debbie snacks are crazy, but cosmic brownies were my favorite. I would do anything to trade for these at lunch. Eggos, S tier. For what it was, it really clutched up. Obviously, it was frozen food. It's not going to be the best quality breakfast ever, but when I would have to get ready in the morning, having an Eggo waffle in the freezer would clutch. Sometimes I would just say fuck it and take the waffle frozen to the bus stop. I would go to school and then I would actually read books. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, S tier. I had the do-it-yourself book and, uh... I don't want to talk about what I put in there. It's embarrassing. But can we just agree that Manny is an alien from a different planet? Like, I don't think he's human. Hungry Caterpillar, F tier. In kindergarten, this book was so hyped up. It was glazed by all the teachers. It wasn't even that good, bro. But I'm going to keep it a buck. My attention span is so cooked, I probably can't even read The Hungry Caterpillar. Captain Underpants, S tier. It's about a superhero in his underwear. Of course, I read the whole series as a kid. While people were moving on to sophisticated ass books at the time like of mice and men i was still reading fucking captain underpants no david d tier this dude is a menace he needs to be locked up i don't know why he's doing all this crazy shit and his mom at the end would just be like oh it's okay buddy but what david needs is an ass whooping bro got no consequences for his actions i think he was just cooked he literally ran out of the crib naked the pigeon books b tier this dude's lore was crazy every week at the library i would rent out one of these books because dude i wanted more of the pigeon lore i was fascinated goosebumps c tier this book scared the fuck out of me. I never felt safe at night. I made sure to run up the stairs on all fours. I was afraid one of these monsters was gonna 
spawn in and eat me alive or something. Big Nate, S tier. Of course, this book was in comic format. I'm gonna like it. Because I needed pictures to read or else I was gonna get bored as hell. He was always up to some tomfoolery, so that's why I really messed with the book. The Guinness Book of World Records, A tier. Some of the things were just disturbing like that. I just did not want to see. But some of the things genuinely fascinated me. And what I'm hearing now is some of the records are just stupid as hell. Like, I swear to God, they just come up with that on the fly. World's fastest time to eat a piece of a hot dog in a pool in exactly 80 degree weather. Like, they're getting to the specifics. But guys, listen closely for a second. I don't think you're ready for the greatest book ever created. Frog and Toad, S tier. This is the greatest duo in history right here. I'm pretty sure I read every book in this series. But when I would get bored of reading, I would just turn on the TV and man, there were so many classics. Teen Titans, S tier. Teen Titans Go, D. As a kid, I liked Teen Titans Go, but now looking back at it, I'm like, how the f did I watch this shit? Regular show, S tier. Absolutely no question. The plot is just so random that it's just fucking amazing. They could just be chilling at the park one day and then two seconds later, they're fighting something off to save the universe. Gumball, S tier again. I was locked in with the new episodes. I was like, oh my God, it's seven, it's seven. I ran downstairs and I would turn on the TV. Uncle Grandpa, C tier. Listen, I know there's a lot of Uncle Grandpa fans out there. I genuinely felt like I was on an acid trip when I was watching this show. None of it really made sense to me. And I just hated his voice. It was annoying. Caillou, F tier. How did I even watch this as a kid. Looking back, this dude genuinely pisses me off, like how spoiled he was. And they proceed to bring this dude back on Peacock Jr. There was enough Caillou. Why do we need him back already? Total drama. A tier. Although the format was almost the same for like every single season, I still loved it. Total drama was the action that I needed in my life that I was not getting. I was on the edge of my seat watching the drama unfold. I felt like Keemstar holding his bucket of popcorn while I was watching this shit. I hated some of the characters like Heather, for example. Or that one girl that was obsessed with Cody. Jesus Christ, they were both annoying. Adventure Time, S tier. Another goaded show. These three were the holy trinity of Gen Z cartoons. Although Adventure Time was a great show, it had some weird ass scenes in it, I'm not gonna lie. There was one episode with the deer and uh, ugh, I don't wanna talk about it. SpongeBob, A tier. I didn't watch a lot of the show. My parents didn't allow me to watch it, but of course I was sneak watching it at my grandmother's house. It was not my go-to show, but it was still good though. Ben 10, A tier. I had one of those Omnitrix things as a kid, bro. I remember just pressing it, just hoping to God that maybe one day I will be just like Ben 10. There were some aliens that he transformed to that. I I was just not interested in it at all. He would go from like this beast of an alien that's like eight foot tall, six arms, built like the fucking rock, to a bug? I don't know, that just didn't make sense. But amazing show though. This show was not so great. Annoying Orange, F tier. I genuinely don't know how I liked this show as a kid. This show was annoying as hell, but yet I was their biggest fan. I had an annoying orange t-shirt I would wear to school. Like, it was just embarrassing. I really thought I was fitted up with that. Hell nah. Now, overall, which one of them is the best? And the winner is video games. I still play a lot of these video games. This tier list was great, but this one is even better. If you want to watch me rank every school subject, then click on this video.